G'day everyone, it's Matt here and today I have got the Amazon Echo Show 8 and I'm going to take you through how to set this one up and get started with it. So mine is fresh out of the box and we first up want to remove this plastic packaging so that we can plug it into the power. Then on the back we've got our transformer input for our wall adapter so we can plug that in here. Pull that out, plug this one in. So it's going to go in the back there and also plug it into the wall. Now on the top of the show we've got three buttons, a plus, minus, and then the mic and camera on off buttons. That turns the mic and camera on or off. And then of course on the top here we've also got two microphone inputs, stereo mic inputs. And then our switch to physically close the camera. So that covers that up entirely. This whole black section on the bottom is rubberized. So it should stay in place on most surfaces quite nicely and grip quite well. And that does feel really solid there. It doesn't feel like it's going to slide easily. It feels like it's really locked in place. So that's great. Let's plug this one in and see what happens. As soon as we connected the power it has started to boot up which is awesome. We've got our visuals here. Okay so we've gone straight into getting the device ready booting up for the first time. So this may take a moment we do have a progress bar along the bottom of the screen here. Select your language. I'm gonna go with English. Hello. Ready for setup. The voice actually appears to be localized based on the area which is going to depend where you get the device from. Select the appropriate network. Then we're going to put in our Wi-Fi password and click done when we're ready. That keyboard is really nice. It's quite responsive actually. We can choose to save password to Amazon. We're not sure what that means. We can click learn more and it'll give us more information on this. But basically that lets us save the Wi-Fi details. So if we buy a new device, for example, if we choose to have it pre-configured with our account, it'll pull in our Wi-Fi passwords automatically. So we don't need to re-enter them all the time, which is kind of cool, but it does mean we're allowing Amazon to store our Wi-Fi passwords, which we may not want to do. We can of course opt out of it, we don't have to do that. And there are instructions here on how to delete it from your account later on if you wish to. So if we're happy to save it, we can leave it ticked. If not, we can untick it. And then we just go ahead and press connect. The show is now gonna go through and connect to the Wi-Fi network. It's gonna check the registration of this device, which as I mentioned, I've pre-registered it to my account. So it's found me there and it now wants me to enter my Amazon password to proceed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We can now proceed, press done, and we can sign in. Alternatively, if it has not picked up the right person, or you want to use a different account, you can switch accounts here. So I'm going to sign in. It's going to proceed with registration. Now I have multi-factor authentication set up, so it's going to ask me to get the verification code from my phone, which I'll do. So we'll enter that code in here, and then we're good to go, and it'll proceed with registering. We can now confirm our time zone. So we've got our country, we can select our region there, and then our actual time zone within that region. It's picked mine up for me, so we can press continue, otherwise change that if you need to. And then specify exactly where the device is so that it can give us more accurate weather, traffic, and so on. So let's pull my address from my address book. I can use that by pressing continue. I can enter a different address, or I can press skip to skip this step altogether. I'm gonna just press continue. We then want to determine the room this device is in. So for me, this is in my office. I'm gonna give the device a name. So I'm just gonna call it the Office Echo Show. Yep, done, continue. We can choose a photo display, which is pretty cool. So we can have it automatically display photos. So I'm gonna actually turn that on because I'd like to have photos on here. We do need the Amazon Photos app though to upload photos. So we'll press continue. We then have a bit of information about Alexa and how the voice recognition and so on all works and it's a cloud service. So we do need to continue. It does allow purchasing by voice using the default payment and delivery settings. So we can set a voice confirmation code or turn it off altogether using the Alexa app on your phone or via the website address. For right now, I'm just gonna press continue there. Now the Echo Show 8 with the camera does have the option to live stream it at any time through the Alexa app and certain other connected devices. So we can choose to enable that or leave it off. I'm gonna enable it. And so the camera here will now appear in the Alexa app under devices and cameras. Pretty cool, pretty straightforward. So we'll click done. The screen does say it's almost done. And that's it. There's our default screen. We've got the time on there. For these arrow indicators coming at the top and right hand side, if I tap the screen, so that gives us options here to set up shortcuts. So the screen is perhaps a little less responsive so far than I would like, but it's all right. It's not too bad. I can add a to do there. We've now gone to the full time and date display. And I'm guessing this is going to start to pull photos in as the background here once I upload them. So that's cool. I like that. So that's the Echo Show 8 and how you set it up. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information and pricing on these, make Make sure you check out the affiliate links down in the description and of course give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.